Alrighty YouTube back with a video here as you can see I got the radiator support for the 66 Chevy Impala What I'll do I'm gonna grind everything down probably to the whole metal Spray it with a nice epoxy primer and then I'll pretty much give it a paint and a clear It's off the 66 here It only had two bolts right under this wood here that held it in place and also bolts here along the uh radiator uh piece here and that's pretty much it we'll sand it down and then i'll take you along with the process here okay youtube back with another one here and as you can see i pretty much grinded it down as much as i can uh and uh, i have a spray here just when i got this premium paint and spray remover from my local home depot and i pr i tell you it works really good so what I'm going to do, I completely sprayed it on the whole uh, radiator support here. I'll let it sit for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I'll get a just a scuff pad here, take it outside with my water hose, and I'm going to wa completely wash the whole thing down. And then I'll assess it to see how it looks because, you know, when it comes to painting, all of the important aspects of a good quality work is in the it's in the prep work so as far as how good you can get your prep work that's how good your quality of paint will be for the most so this is it youtube this is just the first step i grinded everything down with my ryobi grinder here and uh got it down as far as i can and i'm using this here to assist with some of the other stuff that are deep within and then I'll wash it and I'll also add a rust inhibitor this is just the first step was to grind it down as much as I can this is the second and then the third I'm gonna wash it all down with a scuff pad and then I'll spray a rust retard on there which will really kill and stop that rust and it also primes it and then I'll see how it looks from there, and then I'll just keep going until I'm satisfied with the quality of work. Okay, YouTube. Okay, YouTube, back with another video here. And as you can see, I pretty much got it sand down. And what I have done also, I sprayed the rust inhibitor in there. So what I'll do, I'll let it sit for a little. And this stuff really works great. It retards the rust and it adds a film layer. And it stops that rust dead in its track. It's a rust inhibitor that I purchased from Amazon, and it's a total bolt rust remover. Stops rust in its tracks, prepares metal for paint, and that's what it says here. And uh, I, I've used it a couple of times, and it seems to work good for me. So uh, this is it, the 1966 Impala, the radiator support. And I'm uh, trying to prep it for some paint here and then because I got an engine swap coming soon. And uh, this is pretty much it, YouTube. This is the next step here. Alrighty. Okay, YouTube, back with another one here. And as you can see, I actually started the primer with this automotive primer that I have here. Uh, I've already degreased it. And it's real, the surface is real clean, though it may look like there's uh, imperfections. There is, but I think it's good enough for paint. You know, and what I'll do, I'll lay a primer coat over it and then I'll pretty much take it from there. Yes, but it's all clean, it's degreased. I uh, got the, uh, pri the uh, rust protection also laid on there and it's already been doing its job, so it has retarded the rust, so that's a good thing. And we'll pretty much take it from there. Okay, YouTube, back with another video here. And as you can see, I'm just at a desk here. And uh, this is the paint that I have. It's actually a paint that I ordered from uh, Eastwood here. And this is actually the color of the car that I'm going with. And uh, this is a single stage urethane 2.8 VOC automotive paint. And what we have here is the uh, slow activator. And uh, because this is a sing single stage paint, uh, normally single stage paint, they already have your clear coat, everything mixed in it. So it's just one stage. Uh, 
but uh, I do have extra clear. I plan to give everything that I paint on this car a real wet, shiny look. So what I'm gonna do, I'll apply the uh, single stage, the base coat, which is actually the base and clear all in one. And then I'll see how it looks from there. If I'm satisfied, I'll keep it the way it is. But then if I'm not, I'll you know pretty much apply another coat of clear just to give it that extra shine. I'm going for like show car quality, even though this car is gonna be a, uh, I don't wanna say a daily driver, but uh, compared to my prior uh, car that I had, pretty much stayed in a garage. I did not drive it much. I liked the car so much and I was just afraid to just bring it out all the time. But with this one here, I plan to enjoy it more. Make it look good, but also enjoy it. And yeah, this is it, YouTube. This is my paint here. I'll pretty much mix it. And it's a 401, I believe. I'm going to get in the details to read all the instructions. Or well, it's actually mixes three to one. Make one sprayable gallon. All righty, YouTube. And I'll take it from there. Okay, YouTube, back with another video here. And as you can see from the prior videos, I had it primed down. And uh, this is the uh, Eastwood uh, Sublime Green that I purchased. And uh, while doing this here, I had a bit of an accident. I did not hang it on my support goods. So the whole thing in ended up slipping down during the paint, which is why I got a little paint mark there. But other than that, it's just a radiator support. Kind of just wanted to spray it to get the color of the car. And I only added about two coats, which was pretty much it. Yeah, YouTube, but this is it here. And it uh, came out real nice with the uh, Mini Mike 4 over here. And I have to say, I get real good atomization. And this is a single stage paint, but I did prepare just a little bit of clear here which I'm also going to add on top of this paint so I'll give it about 20 minutes and then I'll come back and I'll just spray about a layer of clear and that's pretty much it YouTube okay YouTube back with another video here and as you can see pretty much just laid down one layer of clear over the uh, green just to give it a bit more shine because I did see some dull areas. So that way this layer of clear will pretty much give it some shine. But as you can see, nicely done. Just a radiator support. There is areas that I did miss. But uh, I actually was not going to paint this, but just keep it the way it was and worked outside of the car. But since I'm doing an engine swap, I just said, let me go ahead and uh, paint this since I had more access to it. And this is pretty much it, YouTube. It's all done. This is the Sublime Green that I'm going with for the car. And uh, we'll see how it comes out. 